Hi, and thank you for watching this Easy Insight screencast. We're going to create a new connection to Freshdesk and get familiar with the Freshdesk dashboard. So from our connections page, click on the Freshdesk icon, and we'll enter our Freshdesk URL and API key. And our API key is located under your profile icon, profile settings, and on the right side of your screen, you'll see your API key. Copy and paste that. And go ahead and create the connection. This may take a few minutes depending on the amount of data that you have. And when our installation is complete, we'll be redirected to our Freshdesk dashboard. You'll be greeted by our welcome page, which gives you a brief overview of what's going on in this dashboard. At the top of your dashboard, you'll see a row of filters that you can use to specify which data you'd like to see. You can filter on responder name, status, requester, and your source name. We have several tabs of pre-built reports within the dashboard. In our overview tab, we have some week-over-week -week KPIs, an area chart, and an assignee summary list. Under the agent tab, we have information on touches, time, and surveys. There are a couple of charts and an assignee leaderboard. Under time, we have billable and non-billable hours by agent and company, and a general time list. Under surveys, we have a pivot table of survey score by agent and priority. Under our trends tab, we have a few more charts. Under tables, we have a searchable ticket list. And then in our analyze section, we have an interactive bar chart where you can choose the value you'd like to see on each axis. And an interactive cross tab as well. Switching back to our trends tab, if you want to drill into any of this data, you just click on a bar or a column. And that will take you to your actionable list report where you can click and open the ticket in Freshdesk. Thanks for watching.